guys. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. As you can see, I'm down here with the van alongside the river. I'm gonna do some camping this evening, maybe a little bit of fishing. But I'm kind of hungry and I need some coffee right now. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to cook up a meal and make some coffee. For my meal, I have a portion size of a Mary Jane Outpost. This is the cheesy macaroni and cheese with sweet peas in it. And this is a one cup serving and I mix three fourth cups in here and uh, it's good to go. And also, for all you coffee drinkers, I got your messages loud and clear. That instant coffee stuff, crap. 100% crap, I, I agree with you. So I decided to not be so cheap, go out and buy myself a grinder and uh, some fresh coffee beans. And this morning I ground up some fresh coffee beans. So we're gonna have some fresh coffee as well with the uh, jet boil. That jet boil stove, I just got this thing, but it's, it's amazing. It can boil water in up to 90 seconds. And it's really quick, really, you know, it's not the lightest stove out there, but it's got about 23, 23 of these coffees or meals I can boil up in one little canister. So it's pretty good for out, out and about. So yeah, come with me and uh, we're gonna go and uh, get some grub and some coffee in me. All right guys, I'm gonna take this apart and set this up real quick. It's got a little cup and it's got a measuring device on there on the bottom. And inside I have a little burner and these little rods here are for the coffee press and I'll use that here in a little bit. Deep down in there is the coffee press. Let me pull that out first. Come on. All right. Set that there. All right, then you take the burner. I'll wait there a second here. Still, still learning this thing, so let me just bear with me. Take the top of this. This is the burner here, and you take your little ISO fuel or jet boil, jet power, ISO butane fuel, and screw that on there like so. And it comes with this little base right here that you can set your fuel canister in so it doesn't you know if you're on keeps it more steady there and this puppy just kind of goes up on here and then i'm going to get my water in here i'm going to boil boil all the water for the meal and the coffee in one and then i'll take what i need to uh make the meal with and just pour it in the bag and then continue on making the coffee with this press here so i'm just gonna Fill up to about two cups, got a two cup mark in there. And this thing's really, really easy to get going. I'll put the put the lid on real quick. I don't want to get too much dirt in there. So just put the lid on here. And to get this thing going, you just has a little twist valve right here to get the fuel going. So you just turn that on. And then right here it's got a little igniter switch. Boom, going, right like that. So I'll get back to you in about 90 seconds when the water's going to get this meal going. See you in a bit. All right guys, it's all done here. You can tell because uh, on the side here, it's got a, it lights up orange when it, the boil's done. So I'm gonna turn this off. Ah, oh, dang, it's hot, woo! So I'm gonna pour what I need for my um, meal here, which is three-fourths cup water. So I'll try to do this as fast as I can without getting burned. That's about three-fourths cup. So I'm gonna put that in my meal here and let it sit for about 10 minutes and then we'll get on to the coffee. Just kind of mush this up here a little bit. Get everything all spread out in there. This is gonna be good. Seal that up and let that sit for 10 minutes. And we're gonna get on to the coffee here. All right, guys, I got about a little over a, 
cup of water in there, probably about a cup and a half, but I'm gonna add two scoops of fresh ground coffee in here. I like it strong, so we'll put them in there. Another one, maybe just a little bit more. There we go. And then uh, over here is the coffee press. Get it out of this lid. See this? This is the press right here. And you just kind of, you know, work it down in there. I'm going to let it sit in here for about three minutes and I'm going to press it down. That's how it works. All right, guys. Been having this sitting in here for a little bit. Mellow out. Give it one last stir and I'm going to press this down in here. This is how it works. Just put this down in here and press it down. Push all the coffee grounds down to the bottom, which will leave just your coffee up on the top. And you put the lid down and it has this little spout here. And I'm going to go grab my coffee cup real quick and pour it up. Be right back. All right, guys, I got my Snow Peak Titanium cup here. I'll get the lid off of this guy and pour my coffee in here. Oh, yeah. Press works pretty good. There's no grit or anything coming out of there. Yeah, it looks nice. I'm going to set this down over here. Dip into my bag of goodies over here where I have some random sugar packets. Let's set this down without a spill in here. Yeah, I'll just set it down here. I got some sugar packets I'll put in here and then uh, we'll get eaten the meal. It's got about another five minutes to go here. And now I'll let you know how that tastes. And I'll talk to you later. All right guys, we're gonna give this a go here. My coffee is pretty tasty from what I can taste of it. It's still pretty darn hot. I'm going to have to learn to control that jet boil a little bit and shut it off a little bit before it gets too darn hot. But the meal is looking really good al dente. I'll open it up. i got it double bagged. Just eat it right out of the bag. And I'll use my trusty titanium snow peak spork to stir it up a bit. Take my first bite of the cheesy noodle and sweet pea casserole from Mary Jane Outpost. That's pretty good. I think I could have used a little bit more water because the noodles haven't gotten all the way totally done yet but the parts that are, are really good I'm just gonna have to tweak that a little bit but anyways thanks for watching guys and talk to you later bye